work in the endoscopy department and being a patient that's had um, colonoscopy procedures, um, I can see things from both sides. Um, and I think that's what makes me so passionate about my job is that I'm a patient first and then I work in the department seconds. Because it's such a taboo subject of poo, going to the toilet, being embarrassed about your bum on show, all of those sorts of things make it that people don't come for the procedure and they could save their lives if they did. And I think that's the most important thing. I think we get tied up in the whole, oh, it's embarrassing, oh, I don't really want to go through that, that you lose sight of the fact that actually there's going to be a treatment at the end of it. My first colonoscopy, I remember sitting outside the actual room and looking up at the walls and the posters all over the walls were saying about bowel cancer and how, you know, it's a curable disease if it's detected early and that sort of thing. The procedure was kind of over before it really started. And when the nurse came to meet me and she told me what my diagnosis was, which was ulcerative colitis, I was frightened and was kind of like, is, is that cancer? And she was like, no, no, it's all fine. Everything's going to be fine. Um, we can treat it. We can help you. It's important when you're put forward to have a colonoscopy to go through with it and have the procedure done because it could save your life. It could be the difference between them finding something and being able to treat it and them not being able to find it in time and them not being able to treat it.